Speaking of tr trouble, uh, according to our senators, since our education has been, you know, significantly hampered in terms of transitioning from a face-to-face -to, -face to a online or distance learning scenario, well, we got some of our bright senators who are trying to urge for the DepEd or the Department of Education to reconsider the face-to-face -face scenario or face-to-face -face classes, which is, you know, I like the idea there, but for the reasons that they mentioned, doesn't make sense. So according to the senator, they're urging the Department of Education to consider the face-to-face -face classes since they express ex apprehension whether students are able to retain much from their current modes of remote learning, especially those who are unable to take the online classes, which I think is reasonable. Right, because you know, with distance learning, you have to have the technology, not just the technology, but the ability to understand, communicate with not just with the student, but with also with the faculty here. But obviously, that's not the case here. Not everyone can afford those. It's not a luxury for many of our countrymen here. And according to our senator, Mr. Gachalian, he stated that according to his own analysis and monitoring, that he ha that we have done a tremendous stride in improvement. And he claims even succeeding in managing COVID. Now, obviously, how can you state that you have succeeded because people are stuck at home? Obviously, it limits the growth or the spread of the virus. But the problem here, if you try to invite people to go back to the schools or to their, you know, to their schools or universities, you know, you risk the chance of spreading the virus again, which we don't want to happen. Now, obviously, there's a balance that we need to show. Is it safe to go out or is it not? So let's see here. Or is it? And according to him, the daily number of cases has, has gone below 1,500. That's 1,500 cases. But still, that's a lot of number. It's a lot of cases, right? And is it really that safe to go back out there? especially for children, right? It's one thing for adults to go out into the real world and deal with the situation that it is. It's another thing if it's the children, the teens, you know, below 10 years old, below 20 years old. And, you know, if they're confident, would they risk their children going in public? You know, take note. For our students to go to class, some of them typically walk or even commute, right? Using public transport, whether it's jeepney or buses and so forth. So you're meaning you're increasing the risk of contracting or spreading the virus. And the main question should, is, is it safe? If that's the, if you can answer that question, then I think you can make a case for reopening the schools, assuming the schools are safe. But the question is, the traveling to and from, the, from your home to the school, it's a big gap. And you know, I would be alarmed if I were to send my kids that way and not knowing the situation, if it's safe or not, because it's one thing that an adult knows what to do in a situation, wearing masks, how to deal with other individuals and so forth. Obviously kids, you know, they're kids, they tend to be playful, they might make a mistake and you know, at the cost of contracting the virus. I don't think so. And I think Miss uh, Senator Amy Marcos mentioned that, uh, that despite consistent evidence that face-to-face -face classes are not super spreaders. Let's assume that the school is safe for children to have classes, but the problem is going to and from, as I mentioned earlier. And she added that, why not focus your attention rather than comparing the, uh, the cockpits being open to why schools are not being open. Obviously, cockpits are for leisure, for adults. They're not meant for kids. Education is meant for children, for the kids. So how, I don't know why you're comparing that, but she mentions a good point here. Schools are closed, that government should focus on protecting the teachers, students, and families from the virus. And I think if you can answer that problem, then you have a case for, I think it's time to resume or reopen our schools in the country here. But until that time comes, you know, until we can guarantee that for each children that goes out in the streets, whether they travel by foot or by, by bike or, you know, commuting with different transportation that we have here, then we need to be cautious about that situation here. And, you know, 
But the question here is obviously they're 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 questioning whether it's is it too overwhelming to bear. Obviously, for children, especially in my experience, that even kids that are studying at home are they really learning, or is it just the parents who's doing the hard work, right? And you know they can make a case for both situation, but at the end of the day, the problem here is the pandemic that it is. Unless it's safe to go out there, I think it's it would be irresponsible to push for students or children to go back out in the streets right away. And obviously, according to the article, the DEPET is still waiting from the go-ahead from the president until such a time that you know they can feel confident. I'm sure he's listening to the many advices that he has. Whether is it safe? Is the health safety protocols in place? Meaning, can you imagine children being asked to wear face masks all the time, right? Uh, frequent hand washing, proper ventilation in the facilities, uh, physical distancing would be, you know, monitored, priority testing and tracing. And, you know, if you're, you're going to ask children to follow that, you know, if they missed out on one, you know, it's going to be problematic. So it's easy for the senators to state out, you know, it makes sense to reopen the schools, but have you considered the other factors? They were stating the different factors, but they did not focus on those. If you tackle those, I think it makes a better case for reopening the schools. And at the end of the day, it's a decision for the president of the Philippines to decide, Mr. Rodrigo Torrete, to consider whether it's safe to go back out there.